Welcome to the reading of the Stations of the Cross for this Good Friday, 2020. Let us pray. God of power and mercy and love, you sent your Son that we might be cleansed of sin and live with you forever. Bless us as we gather to reflect on his suffering and death, that we may learn from his example the way we should go. We ask this through that same Christ our Lord. Amen. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The first station, Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane. Then Jesus came in with them to a place called Gethsemane, and he said to his disciples, Sit here while I go over there and pray. He took along Peter and the two sons of Zebedee and began to feel sorrow and distress. Then he said to them, My soul is sorrowful even unto death. Remain here and keep watch with me. He advanced a little and fell prostrate in prayer, saying, My father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Yet not as I will, but as you will. When he returned to his disciples, he found them asleep, and he said to Peter, So you could not keep watch with me for one hour? Watch and pray that you may not undergo the test. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. A reading from Matthew chapter 26, verses 36 through 41. Lord, grant us your strength and wisdom that we may seek to follow your will in all things. Lord Jesus, help us walk in your steps. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The second station. Jesus, betrayed by Judas, is arrested. Then, while Jesus was still speaking, Judas, one of the twelve, arrived, accompanied by a crowd, with swords and clubs who had come from the chief priests and scribes and the elders. His betrayer had arranged one signal with them, saying, The man I shall kiss is the one. Arrest him and lead him away securely. He came and immediately went over to him and said, Rabbi. Then Judas kissed him. At this they laid hands on him and arrested him. A reading from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 14, verses 43 through 46. Lord, grant us the courage of our convictions that our lives may faithfully reflect the good news you bring. Lord Jesus, help us walk in your steps. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The third station. Jesus is condemned by the Sanhedrin. When the day came, the council of elders of people met, both chief priests and scribes, and they brought, before him, brought him before their Sanhedrin. They said, If you are the Messiah, tell us. But Jesus replied to them, if I tell you, you will not believe, and if I question, you will not respond. But from this time on, the Son of Man will be seated at the right hand of the power of God. They all asked him, Are you then the Son of God? Jesus replied to them, You say that I am. Then they said, What further need have we for testimony? We have heard it from his own mouth. A reading from the Gospel of Luke Chapter 22, verses 66 through 71. Lord, grant us your sense of righteousness, that we may never cease to work to bring about justice of the kingdom that you promised. Lord Jesus, help us walk in your steps.
We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The fourth station, Jesus is denied by Peter. Now Peter was sitting outside the courtyard. One of the maids came over to him and said, you too were with Jesus the Galilean. But Peter denied it in front of everyone, saying, I do not know what you're talking about. As, G as Peter went out to the gate, another girl saw him and said, Those who were there, this man was with Jesus the Nazarene. Again, he denied it with an oath, I do not know the man. A little later, the bystanders came over and said to Peter, Surely you too are one of them. Even your speech gives you away. At that, he began to curse and to swear. I do not know the man. And immediately a cock crowed. Then Peter remembered the word that Jesus had spoken. Before the cock crows, you will deny me three times. Peter went out and began to weep bitterly. A reading from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 26 verses 69 through 75. Lord, grant us the gift of honesty that we may not fear to speak the truth even when difficult. Lord Jesus, help us walk in your steps. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The fifth station. Jesus is judged by Pilate. The chief priests with the elders and the scribes, that is, the whole Sanhedrin, held a council. They bound Jesus, led him away, and handed him over to Pilate. Pilate questioned him, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus said to him in reply, you say so. The chief priests accused him of many things. Again, Pilate questioned him, have you no answer? See how many things they accuse you of? Jesus gave him no further answer, so that Pilate was amazed. Pilate, wishing to satisfy the crowd, released Barabbas and handed Jesus over to be crucified. A reading from the Gospel of Mark, verses 1 through 5 and 15. Lord, grant us discernment that we may see as you see, not as the world sees. Lord Jesus, help us to walk in your steps. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The sixth station. Jesus is scourged and crowned with thorns. Then Pilate took Jesus and had him scourged, and the soldiers wove a crown out of thorns and placed it on his head and clothed him in a purple cloak. And they came to him and said, Hail, King of the Jews! And they struck him repeatedly. A reading from the Gospel of John, chapter 19, verses 1 through 3. Lord, grant us patience in times of suffering that we may offer our lives as a sacrifice of praise. Lord Jesus, help us walk in your steps. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The seventh station. Jesus bears the cross. When the chief priests and the guards saw Jesus, they cried out, Crucify him! Crucify him! Pilate said to them, 
Take him yourselves and crucify him. I find no guilt in him. The crowd cried out, Take him away, take him away, crucify him. And Pilate said to them, Shall I crucify your king? The chief priests answered, We have no king but Caesar. Then he handed him over to them to be crucified. So they took Jesus and carrying the cross himself, he went out to what is called the place of the skull, in Hebrew, Golgotha. A reading from the Gospel of John, chapter 19, verses 6, 15 through 17. Lord, grant us strength of purpose that we may faithfully bear our crosses each day. Lord Jesus, help us walk in your steps. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The eighth station. Jesus is helped by Simon the Cyrenian to carry the cross. They pressed into service a passerby, Simon a Cyrenian, who was coming in from the country, the father of Alexander and Rufus, to carry his cross. A reading from Mark, chapter 15, verse 21. Lord, grant us willing spirits that we may be instruments on earth. Lord Jesus, help us to walk in your steps. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The ninth station. Jesus meets the women of Jerusalem. A large crowd of people followed Jesus, including many women who mourned and lamented him. Jesus turned to them and said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me. Weep instead for yourselves and for your children, for indeed the days are coming when people will say, Blessed are the barren, the wombs that never bore, and breasts that never nursed. At that time people will say to the mountains, Fall upon us, and to the hills, cover us. For if these things are done when the wood is green, what will happen when it is dry? A reading from the Gospel of Luke. Chapter 23, verses 27 through 31. Lord, grant us gentle spirits that we may comfort those who mourn. Lord Jesus, help us to walk in your steps. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The tenth station. Jesus is crucified. When they came to the place called the skull, they crucified him, and the criminals there, one on his right, the other on his left. Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. A reading from the Gospel of Luke. Chapter 23, verses 33 through 34. Lord, grant us merciful hearts that we may bring your reconciliation and forgiveness to all. Lord Jesus, help us to walk in your steps. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. 
Now one of the criminals hanging there reviled Jesus, saying, Are you not the Messiah? Save yourself and us. The others, however, rebuking him, said in reply, Have you no fear of God? For you are subject to the same condemnation. And indeed, we have been condemned justly, for the sentence we received corresponds to our crimes. But this man has done nothing criminal. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus replied to him, Amen, I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. A reading from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 23, verses 39 through 43. Lord, grant us perseverance that we may never stop seeking you. Lord Jesus, help us to walk in your steps. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The twelfth station, Jesus speaks to his mother and the disciple. Standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary of Magdala. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple there whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his home. A reading from the Gospel of John, chapter 19, verses 